Hi. 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 Hello. How many times can I say hi? I'm not sure. It's been a year since I've made a YouTube video. And now I completely forgot how to do it. Hi, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel for some reason and you just clicked on this, hi, my name's Megan. I haven't been on YouTube for just about a year, which is crazy to me. I never, ever anticipated being gone from YouTube for this long. Honestly, crazy just saying it out loud. YouTube was such a big part of my life for, I don't even know how many years, a good amount, a decent amount of years. So I'm feeling extremely vulnerable right now. And I, uh, yeah, so, okay, I don't even know how, I, what do I do? What do I do? Um, this has been a very long time coming and I really appreciate, I will tell you, I don't wanna, <sighs> There were so many times, I am so emotional still. <laughs> My hormones are crazy. I'm still breastfeeding, so I think that that has um, something to do with my emotions and I'm just an emotional person anyways. But um, I would post things on Instagram and those of you that have written me a DM or left a comment and said that you miss uh, watching me on YouTube, you have no idea how much that means to me because I was doubting myself and I still doubt myself so much. And when I see a comment like that, it really makes me feel, um, I don't know, like valued a little bit, even as weird as that is and it sounds, it definitely, they just, they just meant a lot to me. And so if you were one of those people, I thank you from the bottom of my heart because I, struggled emotionally quite a bit in this past year and um and and with my own securities and insecurities and all of that so i just want to say again thank you for leaving any nice comments any um any messages that you send me they are so much appreciated this is what i've been nervous about this whole time is this first video back. I have built this first video back in my head. I built it up in such a way that it's totally made me continue to push off doing it. Um, let's just, let's reverse, I guess. Let's let's go back to where we stopped. Um, let's reverse, let's go back to where we stopped. I did the baby mama dance. Say B-A to the B-Y, do da baby mama. I was in labor. So here we are, Alan Bear with us, Megan going through contractions. They called and said, don't come in because it's too busy. So Megan has been a trooper and just going through labor here while she drinks a cup of coffee out of her pregnant mug. She's tough. She always has a bag of muffins next to her. That's her secret. <laughs> I can't laugh while I'm in a contraction. Oh. Oh. Now we're heading to the hospital. Megan's in a lot of pain. Ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. These contractions have not stopped. Yeah. And they're getting super painful and they're about three to five minutes apart and I don't want to risk having this baby at the house. No, we don't have the tools. <laughs> we don't have the so we're heading to the hospital and um, we're going to have a baby. Hopefully soon. We'll see. Yeah. I really just want to get back into the groove of filming again. I really missed this part. I honestly considered not doing YouTube anymore and just being like, you know what, it was the phase of my life, it was done, we had fun, and now it's over. But I continued to go back to it in my head. I continued to say, oh, this would be a good video idea. I would tell my husband, oh, this could be something that I could do. And I just never seemed to be able to let it go. And at one point, my husband was like, you just need to just start doing it again, just start. And that just starting is like always the hardest part, isn't it? Whether it's like eating healthy or working out or whatever it is, just getting that start seems like it's the hardest thing to do. And that is exactly what it is, what it has been for YouTube for me. So where I was, was I was in labor. So we are- You are so close to my face. So we are in a holding room. Uh, not the official room. The official room is supposed to have a jacuzzi and um, 
Megan has strapped to an IV. Can you see my butt? No. Ow, ow. Um, the baby mama dance, we just dropped it. It's taking over. <laughs> P. Diddy just contacted us. Wants us to know. We want to. We didn't know what I was going to have. It was a surprise for everyone. Look how nice Natasha's handwriting was. <laughs> And surprise. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. For me and my family, my friends, and you guys that were part of the journey. Hey, bud, I'm about to start pushing in a second, okay? Okay. <laughs> so we'll call you as soon as we get the baby out, okay? <laughs> I love you. Okay, I love you. Thank you, baby. We'll call you soon, okay? Okay, we'll call you soon as the baby's out, okay? Alright, love you, baby. <laughs> well, I had a little baby. <laughs> oh my god! Right there, my young little help, right there. Uh, That's your name, right there. Look over here. Yeah. <laughs> That is her little name. We love her to death. So I decided I was just going to take like a couple weeks off, right? And then I realized that it, a, it had been a long time since I was a mother to a baby because my older daughter is 10. So huge age gap. I forgot a lot. Uh, and also they say you never have the same baby or ass. I don't know what the saying is, but something like that. Well, it couldn't be more true. Magnolia is an entirely different baby than Lennon was in every way. <laughs> every way. Lennon was super, super, super chill and just like, just went with the flow. And Magnolia? No! <coughs> 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 Opposite. She's what you call, what do they say, a very spirited child. <laughs> she keeps us on our toes and she has been um, very demanding of my time from the day that she came out of me. I knew once we were kind of in the groove of things that um, it would be a little bit before I went back to YouTube. But honestly, I think I posted the last thing I posted on my YouTube community tab was around 4th of July, I think, maybe. And then at that point, I thought, well, maybe like a month more, and then I would come back. And sure enough, time just went by. Next thing I know, she's three months, then she's four months, then she's five months. And then my husband booked a TV show. Uh, well, yeah, I can say that. Uh, if you didn't know, he's an actor and he booked a nice role in a new upcoming show and he was out of town basically for the last five months. He was in and out of town, but a lot more out of town than in town. And um, so then I had a baby and a 10 year old and we were doing home from school, home from school. We were doing school from home this year. And uh, yeah, any idea and thought that I had of filming videos, out the window and I was full on mom mode. So that's the short story, I guess, of it. But if you wanna get deeper with it, I will say like I definitely ended up struggling um, like with postpartum stuff more than I ever anticipated that I would. And when I was in it, I didn't realize that it was postpartum stuff and till, which kind of happens that way. Like you, you think that you're fine and and then you realize, eh, I'm not as fine as I think I am. This go around um, postpartum, it affected my security level, I guess you would say. I became much more insecure with myself where I wasn't really posting on Instagram or Facebook very often. I was really overthinking anything that I was going to post. I wasn't really going on stories very often uh, on Instagram, which I'd never been a big story person, but I found myself doing it even less. Like I just was like, what's the word? Recluse? I was becoming a recluse. I, I was, you know, I was like introverting myself even more. And once I was in that, I kind of just kept going into that, which made it then harder for me to get 
back out of it and start filming videos again. So it's been this weird journey that I've been on. Not to mention, this whole year has been crazy for so many people. It's been heartbreaking for so many people. It's just been a hell of a year. And my husband and I are both vaccinated. My husband was high risk, so that scared the crap out of me even more. Plus having a baby and all of that. I honestly think that that led to a lot of like the postpartum feelings too. And it was just a lot and I just didn't feel good. I just didn't feel like excited. I wasn't doing things like I was normally doing like going to Dollar Tree. There was no running errands with Magnolia because Magnolia hates the car. She is finally getting better, but it, no, I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't doing anything. I was just being a mom. So I really felt uninspired. I didn't really feel like I had stuff to offer that was interesting. Looking back though, I know that there are fun things that I could have filmed and I wish I would have, but you know, you can only do so much. So I'm feeling inspired again. I'm feeling excited. If you have been with me for a while, you've seen my kitchen probably, and you might be able to tell that my kitchen is different. I've never even posted a picture on Instagram or Facebook of my new kitchen, and I got it done at the end of November, beginning of December, which was a whole other thing, and I was gonna film it. My husband was out of town. It was just a lot right during the holidays. So I'm excited because we are moving. We have decided to pack up this house. We've lived here for the past six years and um, we're moving. We already found the house. We are close, we've already sold this house, which is insane to me. This house is officially not even legally ours anymore. Part of our contract was that we got to stay here for like 30 days after we closed on it while we wrapped up the new house. So we have to be out of this house in a week and a half. And I don't know when I'm posting this, but I do know we are at the tail end of living here when I'm filming this. This move is really like inspired me and got me excited to film again because I love, you guys know if you've been with me, you know I love home decor, you know I love decorating, and this house, oh my God, I cannot wait to show it to you. It is a 100 year old, it's actually, it's actually more than 100 years old. It is, what was it, 1913 was when it was built, the house is located in my hometown, which I grew up in Deland, Florida, which is about 45 minutes north of Orlando. And currently we live in Orlando, if you didn't know, moving back to my hometown. And the house that we're moving into is in the historic district of downtown Deland area. So we are about like a 10 minute walk to downtown, all the little restaurants and shops. And we're so excited for this little change of pace for our family. And my family is all there, my parents, my grandma, my aunt, all of them are in Deland, which is great because I'll have some extra help when my husband goes out of town. They'll be there to help me with the girls and just be able to spend time with my family members more often. And I have ones that are older and I just want to be able to be around and my daughters be around them. And we're really excited. So we knew that we wanted to get like a bit of a fixer upper. It has almost an acre of land. It's on like a corner lot. It's right in this like great little old historic neighborhood that all of the houses have their own little style to them but they're, they're it's just such a charming street and my daughters will be able to like grow up on this street and uh, i don't know we're just really really excited about it we've never lived in a neighborhood that's like good for trick-or-treating and holiday stuff and this neighborhood totally is and on top of that, we get to kind of really make this house into something special for us. There's room for us to grow, and oh my God, I'm just so excited about it. So that's the kind of stuff that I wanna be doing moving forward. I also want to, I've been baking um, in this past year and cooking a lot more, so I thought it'd be fun to like infuse some of that stuff. But I definitely will admit, like I've been nervous because so much of my channel, in the past 
has a, had a lot to do with Dollar Tree. And I will be honest with you, I haven't been to Dollar Tree. I think I've been in there two times in the past year, which is crazy to me. And it's not because I have anything against Dollar Tree. It's because I literally hardly go to stores anymore. I do want to get back to going to Dollar Tree. Hopefully though, you will still be interested in watching some of this content that I'm gonna be putting out, all the stuff with the house. I feel like, so the house is five bedroom, four bedrooms, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. And um, and then we have like a den kind of area, the dining room, the family room, the kitchen. So we are going to be taking this house in stages. Also, there's like an old carriage house, which down the line, we are going to redo that as well. So we have so many exciting um, projects that we're gonna do in this house. We're not gonna do it all though, you know, like we're gonna hire people to help us with it um, but we still will be doing things in phases and sharing it and all that so I'm really excited and I hope if you love home decor and you love renovation stuff that you will enjoy this journey on my channel with me I feel like I just keep sinking <laughs> okay 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 Oh my god. If you have any other kind of video ideas that you think would be fun for me to do, I'm definitely open to ideas. Um, I Like I said, I have some video ideas. There's definitely Dollar Tree stuff that I want to incorporate back into my life because just because I haven't been to Dollar Tree doesn't mean I'm not using Dollar Tree products. You know what I've realized is that there are some Dollar Tree products that I've had for years that have remained a staple in my life and in my family's life. So I wanted to do a video like, I don't know, a working title, but something about Dollar Tree products that I can't live without. I don't know, something like that. And then incorporating some Dollar Tree stuff um, back in my channel as well. So I don't know, I think that's everything. Um, I think that's it for this video. I hope that I didn't ramble too much. I just wanted to be real and like honest with you and um, and get this video out there so that we can get started on new fun content and moving into this new house. We close in just a couple days, so fingers crossed. By the time you see this though, we'll probably will already have the keys to the house. I don't know, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I wanna do like a, we're moving empty house tour. I don't know, let me know if you wanna see something like that. And um, yeah, I guess just stay tuned for this journey. If you are in it with me, I would appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little catch up and are excited for home decor, renovation, family, fun content, I guess. I don't know, I'm just babbling at this point, but thank you so much for watching. I really have missed being able to connect with you and um, I'm happy to be back. So I will see you in my next video, bye.